You know, before Oprah, I haven't read a book in, oh, 12 years. <laughs> well, not counting cookbooks, of course. <laughs> um, if I can take a moment of your time and space, I'd like to say that this club and Oprah book clubbers everywhere have reached into my soul and made me feel the words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's get down to brass pins, girls. Ooh. Our book is She's Come Undone by Wally. I love you, Lamb. <gasps> oh, I could not put this down. I named a crystal after it. I like the cover. <laughs> God, my family treats me with so much more respect now. Well, it's because through the Oprah book club you've reached a new level of self-esteem. Yeah, and uh, okay, the main character was so much like me. Oh, like. A mirror. It was a deja vu experience. I didn't really like it. Exactly. What? What? <laughs> I, I think Susie just said that she didn't like it. Oh, I, I didn't really like it. Well, but it's an Oprah. Oprah's oh, I know, I know, I know. It's Oprah. Uh, you know, maybe you're confused about your feelings. Okay, don't you remember that show about people who don't like Oprah books and why they are wrong? Oh. Did that not? <laughs> didn't that mean anything to you at all? Well. It's just that it seemed so... What? Stupid. <gasps> what do you mean? Well, it's just that the main character had so many problems. I mean, she had no friends. Her baby brother died. Her father left. Rape, obesity. Her mother went crazy and left. She had an angry grandmother she was forced to live with. She struggled with lesbianism. She was a college dropout. She had a crippled friend. Her mother got run over by a piano truck. Her father died of cancer. And her husband cheated on her with his 17-year-old student. Oh, did I leave out the part about the suicide attempt which landed her in a mental ward for seven years where she had to be rebirthed and she was able to lose 100 pounds by imagining that there was mold on her food? Okay, that part, I have to say, actually kind of works. Nonetheless, it was all miraculously placated and solved by the end of the book, tied up in a neat little bow. Now, tell me exactly which part of this was like your lives? I was 17 once. <laughs> I, I know how to play the piano. Oh, kind of. please. <laughs> What's wrong with a smidge of optimism? Smidge? It was like a romance novel with current issues slapped onto it. Oh, oh, excuse me, Emily Dickerson. I didn't realize I was so stupid. It's Dickinson. Look, I'm sorry. It's just not my kind of book. What is your problem? Let me reiterate to you that this is an Oprah Book Club book. O-P-R-A-H. I hope you understand just who it is that you are criticizing here, Susie. Okay, you must remember the show, Women Who Don't Like Books About Women. It's obvious to me and everyone else that you're masking your feelings. Mm -hmm. um, is this a daddy issue? <laughs> what? Oh. No. <laughs> Come on, you guys. It is just a book. Oh. Oh. oh, you are such a dumbbell, Susie. You cannot not like an Oprah book. <laughs> what, do you also hate black people? No. Oh. Oh. blowing this way out of proportion for the last time. I have nothing against Oprah, okay? Go Oprah. Okay? <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna go use your bathroom. I think that that would be best. <laughs> Oprah. Winfrey. Oprah. Winfrey. Oprah. Winfrey. Once you were fat, fat, now you are thin, thin. Turn on the TV and let you in. Come in, Susie's not worthy to worship you. Speak to us now, let us know what to do. Oh, mighty Oprah! Oh, 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 is not right for Susie to not like my book club choice. I punish her now by removing her voice. <gasps> Oprah made a rhyme. A beautiful rhyme. You're such a dumbbell, Susie. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, so where were we? Um, <laughs> I was saying that it really changed my life. <laughs> so, um, can we all turn to page 234, yes. the 24th word? Okay. Wait, who's ready for an Oprah snack? Oh, me, me, me. 
Stedman's Funky Fat Free Brownies. <laughs>